Friday, mid-February. Biggin. Okay. <laughs> nope. What's up, guys? We're back at it. It's um, it's Friday, mid-February, so it's been cold. This is like the first day that we've actually had some clouds. It's been bluebird skies, cold, um, fairly windy. So we got a warming trend today and tomorrow. It's going to get up to 77 today. It's about 11 o'clock. And tomorrow it's going to get up in the 80s, and then it's going to start getting cold again. So I um, want to come out here and see if these fish are moving up, if they're uh, getting a little more active. It's been fairly tough, and the fish have been pretty deep. So I um, wanted to come out here, and the wind's going to be about 6, 6 to 7 miles per hour. And it's going to change directions, but primarily an east wind. Uh, the temp coming out of the canal was 64.3, so... That's um, pretty much what it was last time I was here. So may not have any effect on them, but let's we'll see. Uh, like I said, it's Friday, Saturday. This place will be packed. But um, go out here and see if we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. follow this grass line out. I didn't fish this outside line over here for some reason. Let's see if there's anything over here. Ooh, there's some bait. Damn. A ton of bait. Four. Now it's gone. It's crazy. There he is. Little one. Wind was nice when I came out here. Now it's freaking super windy. Which can be good sometimes. You got these lakes that have no current. fish tell me something tell me something we've got uh, about three feet visibility Not bad. Oh my god, who came out? Crazy. Damn, dude. Who came out with a worm? Not bad. Bad little fish. All right, getting to wonder if I should throw that green pumpkin or not. He ain't big, but I'm gonna put him in a well for a minute. I don't know why my, my drag's a little loose. There's the birds. Diving on the outside grass lines. It's probably where we need to be. Now we're getting to the end of it. Ooh, the wind's picking up. Come on, dude. I don't want that wind. So that little area, we're in 10, no grass. Well, area where you got nine foot, five foot of grass should be good. Let's 
so freaking mucky over here. Look at this crap. It's like that nasty green, mushy seaweed, seaweedy stuff. All the all the grass is slimed over. There's really no good looking grass in here. It's mostly eelgrass. That canal had some hydrilla though. I didn't see any, any hydrilla out here. Well, they're not wanting to chase nothing, that's for sure. So it comes up, and it's gonna turn right around here. It's about where I caught that first one. Turns in grass, they're like, almost like channel swings. These fish just sit in those little turns. I'm not wanting the black, so let's go back to green pumpkin. We've got the sunlight, <clears throat> relatively clear water. fish down there, 10 feet. That's a fish, I think. Yep. Biggin'. Biggin', dude. Now oh, he... Well, at least a good one. There we go, boys. There we go, there we go, go, go. It's a good one. There we go, that's what we came for. We came for right here. Ah, yes, sir, son. Oh my God, the bite was, even if it was just like, I was holding it. I was like, man, I shouldn't be. And it was just a, you could just feel it. Look at that toad. Right sure where he should be. Where are we at, 11.6 feet? Yes, sir, boys, let's go. It's probably, I don't know, three and a half, four. Three fourteen. dark 314 fat look at that thing look how fat that fish is put him in here with this little guy it's grass boom baby and a half, 11 feet, followed this grass line out. Kind of on the side of it. Uh, I'm gonna retire, I learned my lesson. That small. Okay. 
No, 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 no. Oh. I did what you should never do. Damn. It's going to hurt. Dang. That is not going to feel good. Not do that. This fish has got a hook in its mouth. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt. But what are you gonna do? I'll go ahead and do it before I get all freaky. Mm. Ouch! It's gonna hurt. Fat, nice fish. I got that one, but it's long, skinny. But I got a hook in my finger below the bar, but I just went ahead and what are we gonna do? I'm not here by myself. The point wasn't through the other side. So I just popped, pulled it out, jerked it out real quick. Hopefully I won't go into any kind of reaction. I hope we don't get any bacteria in it. That fish had a hook cut out of it in its throat and they had cut the line, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to try to keep fishing. <laughs> Man, I fish a while with no hooks in my hand. Got the line, got it up too tight. And didn't really grab it. It's better when you let quite a bit of slack out. You have a little more control. I don't know if I... should have some band-aids in here. There we go. There's one. Man, it's bleeding good. I'm gonna lose my nail. I'm gonna have to douse that with some something tonight. Dang, there's a good school over here. There he is. Got you, sucker. Got you, sucker. Got you, sucker. It's a nice dark little bass. Bet he don't weigh two pounds though. Let's see. Where are we at? Nope, 113. Nice little fish. They look bigger when they're dark. <laughs> so we have an opening. Grass comes out and it comes close to the bank here. So I'm gonna start with a chatterbait. About eight feet. It's a lot of grass. Seeing some bait. It's all slimy eelgrass, though.
There he is. Damn, dude. You're not even that big. All right. I'm 12 feet. There's a hole right here, so we're in the hole. Dark bass, not peeing. Nice one. So number four or five. Speed worm. Yeah, I'm a drag. Jeez. So when I fish a speed worm, I pretty much just throw it out. <clears throat> Usually if I'm offshore, I'll let it sink and then I'll start reeling it real slow and then I'll stop it because there's holes in the grass. If I get near an edge or I, if I'm throwing to shallower water and I'm out and deeper, then I'll, I'll stop it and let it get back to the bottom. I usually three, uh, throw a 3 16th. I got a quarter on this because I'm using the smaller one. Couldn't be one fish out here. There he is. Oh, man. There he is. Oh, damn, there's a wad. Dude, there's a wad under the boat. Little one. You about to jack him up, son. If I can get over him, I'm going to put that jigging spoon on. God. They're at 10 coming up to 7. See that? There he is. Not very big. Very big get old. But we found some fish. Maybe. Ooh, there's some. We got seven feet. Heavy, heavy little joker. There you go, bulls. Right in the gullet. That's what we got down there. Look at that. Curled up. Why are you so curled up, dude? No, you feisty. Bad, man. I don't know. He's probably two and a half. Two eleven. Y'all gonna be upset with me, but that's all right.
There he is. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Take that. Long, skinny. God, he felt a lot. Shaking here, bacon. Damn, dude. Making sure I'm paying attention now. I grab that hook. Heavy, heavy fish. He's little, but he's heavy. Freaking stopped it. <laughs> Come on, man, I ain't got time for that. Get on that hill. Get on that hill. He ain't the one. He probably wasn't much bigger than that. There he is. Damn. Joker. Joker was feisty, man. All right. Man, perfect hook set on all these guys. Right in the roof of the mouth. Pretty fish, golly. Dark. Fish are around the grass. I'm out. Get out of here before all these boats try to hit the ramp at the same time. Let these fish go. The biggest one was 314, and I don't remember what the other one was. Other two. That one wasn't that big. Got those two boys. Sounds all out. So, um, came out here for five hours, five, six, five and a half hours. Um, followed the grass lines, the contour lines. The big one came on a worm, and everything came on a worm. A couple on the bandit, I think it was the 200. And um, so followed the grass contours. It seemed like this time the where the grass ended the furthest out from the bank. So where it contoured, you know, your grass line up here, it's like eight, and it stops. And then it would go out to like 12, 13 feet. So the further out away from the bank, the grass lines were is where the fish were. So I'm outside edge. And when I went out even further, there was, you could see bait and you could see fish. So they, they weren't, they were relate, relating to the grass, but um, sometimes not, more of the bait. When the um, clouds rolled in and the wind picked up, it would change. But um, the worm was really the, the better of it. Um, and, and the fish were sitting a lot lower than they had been, um, in the past, in the last time I was here. So fish were lower, um, the bait was higher and the smaller ones were probably up here. And then but you could see, um, look like bigger fish or bigger solid schools 
that were kind of sitting lower. But uh, until next time, keep your rod tips bent. You know your boy B-Maz is out.